Let's look at the concept of tuning for performance behind joins. A SQL code join is where you execute a query which takes two or more tables and joins the rows in those tables together in various different ways. Now quite obviously the fastest type of join is an intersection. An intersection is a join that uses equality. In other words, it says where x in one table equals y in another table or simply in the ASCII format join one table to another either as a natural join or with the using or un clauses. You'll find the details for these clauses in previous courses. How do joins are by nature slower simply because they join two tables and then find the information in one table which is not in the other. So effectively they're finding a positive and a negative. There are some joins which are usually best avoided because they're extremely slow. And basically these types of joins go hand in hand with the efficiency based on comparisons which is essentially an anti-join. You join one table to another when an element in table A is not in table B. So you're doing a negative search so you have to full scan the entire second table. Remember that the fastest way to find data is to find exact hits, is to find things with equality, an equal sign, find a single row. The fewer rows you're finding in the table the less likely you're going to need to full scan that table and the faster your queries will be. A Cartesian product is always a problem. As you should know by now, a Cartesian product is the same as an ANSI SQL format cross join. A cross join simply takes all the rows in one table and joins to all rows in a second table. In other words, if you have 10 rows in table A and 10 rows in table B, then Row 1 in table A will join to all 10 rows in table B. Row 2 in table A will join to all 10 rows in table B, and etc. all the way up to row 10 in table A. Basically, every row is joined to every other row. So with two tables of 10 rows each, you get 10 times 10, which is 100, which is a product. A product is a mathematical term for a multiplication. A Cartesian product is a product of two array structures. A table is essentially the equivalent of an array structure stored on disk where it has elements contained within it. In computer jargon, a Cartesian product is a computation or a multiplication between two array structures. Sometimes subqueries can be used to replace joins. Quite often subqueries using comparison conditions such as exists and in. I've found that this is efficient in Oracle 8i and 9i, however this is not necessarily the case anymore in Oracle 10G because the optimizer has caught up. This particular area can get extremely complex, but really what you do is you take a two-table join and you replace it with a query which executes a subquery where the subquery does not necessarily return information to the calling query. You can only really replace a join with a subquery when you generally don't want to retrieve the information from the second table. In other words, you don't retrieve any columns from a second table. So what you do is you join table A where there are elements of table A which are in table B, but you don't need any of the information in table B. There are exceptional circumstances such as a from clause subquery, which is actually an inline view, where you can actually retrieve information from the subquery. But most of this is covered in previous courses and it does get fairly complex. As I said, when experimenting with replacement of subqueries with semi-joins, I found that in Oracle 10G that optimizer improvements have actually overcome the necessity to do this. So joins are getting quite efficient, or should we say as efficient as they can be when executed with the optimizer in Oracle Database 10G. So we know basically that the fastest and most efficient joins are essentially intersections. A slightly slower type of join is an outer join and joins that are usually best avoided are generally anti-joins, negative joins and Cartesian products. However, every type of join has its application. Quite often joins such as outer joins, anti-joins, Cartesian products are used in data warehouse databases. The most common type of join for an OLTP DML activity database is nearly always intersection type joins or range joins using operators such as greater than less than. Less likely are outer joins in OLTB databases generally because it's finding information which does not exist in one place. Quite often 
OLTP databases are structurally much tighter than data warehouses in terms of data content.